Use this, a Home Depot bucket, and an AGM battery to make a redneck yard sump pump for a low spot it short cycles a lot but when it gets really bad it will run for 5 minutes non. Stop I was lazy and didn't use any kind of landscape fabric to filter the groundwater. So it pumps murky dirt water honey badger don't care this thing is unstoppable update. Almost a year later and she still pumps gritty mud water when it rains hard was never brought in for winter it oscillates between being frozen solid and pumping ice cold snow melt without complaining very energy efficient. I have a 12 hour battery hooked to it and I've charged it only a few times. This little pump moves a lot of water, even faster than the flow from a garden hose. Because of the design of the internal float switch, it will leave about an inch of water remaining. So be sure to mount it in the lowest location possible. I installed it in the back corner of an open base boat and it's nice to look down to the dock and see only a small patch of water left on the deck during a torrential downpour. The float switch needs to stop the pump before it draws air, to protect itself, so an inch or less of water is just fine. After installing the pump, we went out to test the boat. To my horror, the bellows broke and water started coming in at an alarming rate. The pump kicked. But it took 2 hours to get the boat out of the water cause the crane operator was at lunch. Thanks to the pump, the solar panel and my trusty VMAX tank battery it saved my boat from sinking. Thanks Seaflow. DP in NYC.